welcome to another video, highlighting 5 reasons to play the Paladin, which starts as a gladiator. Even more than on the DPS job department, I need to tell you that tank balancing is phenomenal and that you cannot do anything wrong of choosing the tank that you find the coolest or which attracts you with its style, combat system or defensive behavior. Nonetheless, there's one specialty about the Paladin that I want to name at the start of this video, as this could make the choice very easy for some of you. Active self-healing potential. While being behind the other tanks in effective healing, that doesn't decrease your strict damage output, the Paladin is the only non-healer job except the Red Mage that has access to an active healing ability in the form of Clemency, learned at level 58. While you may need to interrupt your damaging rotation or need to spend MP that could be used to throw out your insanely powerful casting rotation, this spell is a blast when anything goes wrong, transforming you into the strongest tank or actually the strongest overall job when facing actual content but all other party members have died. Surely the Red Mage could throw out very effective healing as well, but the Red Mage won't be able to stand against incoming damage for too long, as it's just missing the tanking roll durability. That means most of the times the Paladin may be the last man standing, also making it the strongest and most obvious choice for any form of solo content by far. But of course this doesn't mean that very good Dark Knights, Warriors or Gunbreakers couldn't handle those last 10% of a dungeon boss. But it's just much more straightforward on the Paladin without a doubt. This directly leads us to another defining factor which is the versatility of a Paladin. And here let me give you another ability which is Hallowed Ground. That is our oh shit button that every tank has access to. But the advantage of Hallowed Ground is that you literally soak up the damage. And like some of you may already know from Divine Shield in World of Warcraft, it kinda makes you invulnerable against incoming damage for 10 seconds, helping you or your whole party to ignore mechanics or transform some of the strategies into a stronger offensive plan. And even when this spell has one of the longest cooldowns among its section of skills, it's insanely powerful and a straight up support to make the life of your healer much easier and especially release you from any dependency on keeping you in game, like it does on the Dark Knight's Living Dead for example. Above that you have the highest number of defensive cooldowns that work in so many different ways that definitely seeks for competition which cannot be found at the moment. This shield somehow seems to have a meaning after all. On the other hand, I do think the Paladin is actually missing the fitting compensation for its defensive power, as its offensive strength is at least on par with Dark Knight and Warrior, and not far away from Gunbreaker damage. So when we're talking about meta placement or any trade you may find lacking on the Paladin, then you may not actually find one. Yes, it is very linear on its combat system and requires a kinda strict rotation between magical and melee combos, but the more it is able to handle all sorts of situations. Especially when we're talking about anything like solo content or when you may want to support a healer freshman that just started playing this game. Like already mentioned, the most unique trait of the Paladin may be its magical combat. Unlike all other tanks, even when the Dark Knight may consume MP as well, the Paladin is the only tank having a vast arsenal of true spell casts or magical abilities that can be identified as those indeed. Furthermore, it strictly evolves around a whole magical sequence where your spell attacks can be used from a certain distance, while also having a black mage-like finale with Confidio, which is also one of the strongest AoE attacks this game has to offer. And while you may need to trade some of these attacks against your healing spell Clemency in some situations, under Requiescat all of these effects are used as instant cast. This grants a clear advantage when it comes to sequences or phases where the boss is running away from your position or you need to kite it and would otherwise have some difficulties in keeping up your damage consistently. Not on the Paladin, if you time your magical phase correctly. I guess I could talk about much more than 5 reasons to play the Paladin, but let me tell you something very special about it. The next expansion will feature the Paladin as its poster boy, which means the Paladin job may be on a special focus when it comes to game design, where I personally think the Dark Knight for the recent expansion Shadowbringers has earned a solid amount of very cool and unique features, that we may see on the Paladin as well on the Endwalker launch. On the other hand, all jobs have been revamped in a very interesting way in Shadowbringers, so this trait does not only appeal to the poster boy and maybe those other 4 reasons should be on your prime focus. And for not making this a pointless reason, if no special treatment will follow, Paladin and Gladiator are very beginner friendly, as you can start the Gladiator as a base class, evolving into the Paladin on level 30. While the whole Paladin combat system is straightforward as well and one of those jobs that can easily be learned from reading the spell descriptions and ideas alone, so combos and skills are definitely self-explanatory. But of course, there are also some disadvantages even when you may not believe me by all the advertisement I made before. Some of those directly evolve out of the advantages, but for other aspects of the game as disadvantages. 
When it comes to DPS optimization, your active healing spells are in a bad position compared to the passive healing of the other tanks. Which means you will not use clemency at any point you're going for speed kills or want to reach your own FFLOX records. Because you could always use a damaging attack for that same GCD otherwise. Nonetheless, if using clemency in a situation where death would have taken you instead, it is definitely a DPS advantage. And apart from that, you have tons of utility skills to compensate your lack of passive healing. Still, many people will place the Paladin into the second or off-tank position, but this may not be due to the fact that others are having more self-mitigation abilities, but that the Paladin is definitely having the upper hand when it comes to support for its tanking mate. Especially due to its cover ability that is phenomenal for protecting other players and which is not limited to the tanks alone. The biggest difficulty though or disadvantage still may be found in the Paladin's rotational department. As the division into melee and magical rotation line your overall rotation into a very long sequence, so you may need to adjust this for every fight that has a very quick intermission phase coming or when you need to take care of other things. This can also be witnessed from your very late potion window, as your big burst will still happen at the last seconds of its duration. So for the usual fight of flight 11 opener, you might need to adjust it according to the encounter you're facing. But of course, when checking out my other videos, the balance discord or salted final fantasy 14 or ask free company mates or paladin experts for opener recommendations for certain fights, you won't run into any issues and will experience one of the most straightforward jobs in this game. Because even when you're not fitting in the perfect opener, the damage loss may not be as significant as on other tanks or DPS jobs. So what else do you want to hear? Go get your character to the Gladiators Guild or start over as one from the character creation and enjoy one if not the most versatile jobs this game has to offer and become the poster boy of the next expansion and walker. That's it for now. And of course, if you think I missed out some very important traits or aspects that speak for or against the Paladin, please share them with our community inside the comments section. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and keep loving Final Fantasy.